Guys, yeah, we got a new, uh, new weird angle here. I am going outside, sort of downtown, to take some photos. I have not done this in a very long time, since pre-quarantine days. I am excited. I'm going to have a mask. I'm going to be in a park, so going to be relatively far away from other people, hopefully. If people are being dumb, we ain't doing this. I'm excited to get out there, and I hope you're excited to come along. <laughs> Well, I have made it downtown. I am at Grant Park, Buckingham Fountain, all that area. It is a beautiful evening. There's not a ton of clouds in the sky, so skyline shots may be a little boring, but we are going to see what we can make happen. So right out the gate, the first warm-up shot of the day was with these bushes or hedges kind of looking down the sidewalk. I was able to take a few different options and ended up with one where there was a couple right at the end. I would say this needed to be probably a little closer in, but gotta do what you gotta do. This second photo, I saw the shadows and the light, the long shadows on the ground there that you can see right in front of me and I wanted to do something with that, but there wasn't really a subject that lined up. So what I ended up seeing was the closed restaurant and one of the people walking across in front of that restaurant. Now, I also have to say there was this flower section garden space that I spent probably 15, 20 minutes at that I really didn't get anything that I am proud of. And so I wanted to share that because it, not every single thing turns out great and it's really a matter of getting out there and trying it, seeing what works and seeing what doesn't. So after that I moved on, I was walking up this street here and as you can tell there is nobody around. Normally as we turn into summer and the weather is warm here in Chicago, this is a packed area. Even on the, the evening during the week this is still a pretty packed area a lot of people down here spending time outside and there were a couple of cars but I was able to get an empty shot that I was proud of right after that I just turned to my side and saw that there were some vines and plants working its way up this building which is the Art Institute and there was a, another person that ended up walking across which really made this photo come to life and able to frame her well I also wanted to share that yes, there were a lot of boarded up buildings, but I just wanted to say that that is not necessarily my story to tell, so there aren't a lot of those photos in this set, although I did take them. They are for me and not necessarily something I'm going to share outward, again, because it's not necessarily my story. So I did turn around and see that there is a little food stand that normally has a line of people around it, and it's all closed. So taking just the emptiness of what was downtown Chicago. I ended up crossing the street, trying to find a couple different comp uh, compositions in the first couple of blocks there. I came around the corner and saw this restaurant with a man outside in a mask and he was waiting for his food to pick up. Now, I did have to wait here because there was a car that ended up uh, blocking this shot that you can see right there. So. Once they got their food and moved out of the way, I was able to wait and see that one person peek into the window and get this shot here. Making my way up the block just towards the other end of that same building, there was a barber shop and there was only one person in the, in the shop itself being an actual employee or owner, I'm not sure, but uh, again, I took the shot because it really captures the moment and that we're all the moment that we're all in as uh, we deal with this global situation. Continuing on that theme, I was able to get a pretty classic shot of under the the trains here in Chicago. But again, normally there's usually so many more people instead of just one person crossing the street. Especially since it was a green light and both of us were able to be out in the street with no problem whatsoever. I then made my way back towards the car. As you can tell, the light was getting a little darker. As I was making my way through the park, you can see there's a couple off to my right hand side just laying there being all romantic. And I thought that was a pretty funny photo and kind of captured them uh, in their own world. 
then as I was back in Grant Park right by my car there was a couple here that you can see I wasn't really able to see the composition right away so I held back tried to take another photo of the fountain but then let them pass get a little further away which really set up the right composition for this one and lastly there was this family walking all three with masks on and I was just taking as many as I could from my hip as they walked by was able to get one that I'm pretty proud of the last photo of the evening, I turned and I saw the light coming from behind the city. Sears Towers framed perfectly and went ahead and took this photo and I'll share more afterwards. And like I said, that was it. I made my way back to the car after a pretty good session. Well, that is it. The sun is going down. It looks way brighter on here than uh, it actually is out here. but. You've seen these photos, I have not, so I'm going to hop back to the office, do some editing, and let you know what I think. Alright, so I am back. I have edited the photos and wanted to give you some general thoughts as well as some highlights and lowlights of the various photos that you have already seen. But before we do, make sure and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both at I'm Aaron Ross link down in the description. I also wanted to share that all of these photos were taken on the Fujifilm X-T3 and the 35 f2 lens. This is pretty much my go-to lens for street photography. Again, if you're interested in learning more about that, there is a link down in the description to pick up either the camera or the lens or my entire kit. So getting into my general thoughts on this street photography session, I would say that this was a good warm up to get back into the groove. I think there's a lot of times in street photography where I thrive when there's more of a crowd and I can blend in a little bit. Because there's still not a whole lot of people out right now, which is a good thing, I definitely felt like I stuck out. People were much more aware of me and my camera, and so taking some of the photos I generally try and take were just a little bit more challenging. Now the first photo that I'm personally proud of is the one looking down the street with Sears Tower and there are no cars, no people, anything like that. That is a photo that you really aren't going to be able to get in a normal time here in Chicago, especially in the summer with that lighting and the overall atmosphere. So that's one that I am proud of and excited to have down the road and look back on. Now the second photo is the one of the barber shop with just one employee inside and no customers. And I'm sure that that is really hard for a lot of small businesses right now, but it really shows the moment that we're in. So again, one that I'm looking forward to having down the road and looking back on this time. And the last photo that I wanted to highlight is the one that I showed you guys early on in that session. It was of one person kind of in the open area of Grant Park right by Buckingham Fountain, but there was what is normally a restaurant that is hustling and bustling. It was all closed, closed up for now. That really stuck out as a photo from this moment. The one that I wish could have been a little bit better is the very last photo. It was a great composition in terms of having the skyline, the lighting, and Buckingham Fountain, but it really needs something in the foreground, a person, a kid, somebody, really to bring that photo to life, to have a little bit of motion going on, some sort of activity. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of a boring photo in my opinion. So that is going to do it. Let me know what you thought of these photos down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And lastly, check out the videos on the end card and remember to just get started.